Hello, YouTube in the world. Uh, my name is Bobby, and I'm a second grade teacher. And uh, this video is going out to YouTubers, um, teachers, listeners of the Teacher's Life podcast, uh, parents, famous people. I just watched Barack Obama get inaugurated. I bet you he could respond to this and knock my second graders down. We'll see if that happens. Um, anyways, let me tell you what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm reading this book, and this, by the way, this is the second video. I'm redoing it, and because I wanted to give an update on uh, what's happened in the past week since I put up the last one. But I have another video that talks about reading, and if you want to respond to that, it's called "Help My Second Graders," and uh, in parentheses, reading. And so uh, you can you can check this out at the Teacher's Life if you uh, go to YouTube. You probably already found it. That's how you're watching this. But um, what I'm looking for, I'm reading this book, and um, it's about trying to make the math in your room come alive, real-world problems. And um, I sent this video out, uh, something just like this, t uh, a week ago, and I got three responses. And none of the responses were on YouTube, but uh, they were sent to me uh, through email. And... Um, let me just really quickly tell you what happened. Uh, I had somebody from um, Indiana, somebody from here in Arizona, and um, somebody in, I forget where they were from. But um, before that, I, I went over to the librarian and, and schemed up a math problem for my kids. Went over to the library and uh, we solved the problem. Came back to the room, wrote her a message on uh, what the answer was. Then, um, we went into the principal's office, and my principal did a great job at, uh, you know, uh, scheming up this problem. Went in, solved it, and then uh, sent it back. And and so um, that was just at my school. And I want to get into the community and take my video camera around and uh, ask uh, local businesses to do it too. But um, I had two, res three responses from uh, YouTubers and listeners of the Teacher's Life. And um, basically what happened is, uh, for example, a guy in Indiana um, sent me a thing on his phone that he was just sitting in a parking lot in the morning, uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, dark, snow out. Kids in Arizona have no idea what that's like to have negative 16 degree uh, wind chill as uh, the problem goes. So he's sitting outside of McDonald's and he's trying to figure out how many uh, Egg McMuffins to buy him and his five colleagues and if everybody has two um, how many Egg McMuffins does he have to buy? The, the next very next person had the exact same problem but just division and it was just I, I can't even tell you guys how amazing it's been in my class the last week having math that's real and directed towards us as opposed to me giving them a worksheet so if you're down to help, my second graders are looking for some math problems, okay? This could be from anybody, right? If you could throw a shout out to uh, room 46 or something like that, that would draw us in. You should have seen the kid's face, man. Um, I'm looking for math problems. Now, my kids can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. The numbers are the hard part in the, in the situation, right? So, like in the first video, I'm going to go through it. Um, if you want to record yourself doing an addition problem, you could do, I found, uh, I have this many baseball cards and uh, this many football cards. How many sports cards do I have together? And a quick note on the numbers, we can do up to three-digit numbers, 999 at the top down to one. If you do something like, I found two rocks and I found another rock, how many do I have? they can do that easily so um, numbers that are higher would really help us out subtraction you found 56 um, pieces of chocolate I don't know and uh, you ate um, 32 how many do I have left That's a, an example of a one type of subtraction problem uh, multiplication you could do uh, the guy in Indiana sent a problem where he was trying to buy egg McMuffins for six people and if all the six people he wanted to buy two for each person so he didn't know how many to buy right 
that would be multiplication. You could do a garden, like rows and columns. You can, there's all sorts of things you can do. Um, division could be I have um, 10 friends coming over, and I have, uh, I don't know, it could be anything. I have 50 cookies. I want to give them out. So each person gets the same amount. So how many cookies do I have to, or does each person get? You get it. So um, if you want to help me out, that'd be great because I can't even tell you um, the impact it's had in my class. So if you want to respond to this video, you get this video on a page all by itself, and underneath it it says post a response to this video or post a video response or something like that. If you click that, um, then you can upload a video. I'm just, I just have my camera here. I'm recording this. I'm going to put it on my computer, and then I'm just going to put it onto my YouTube account. So you can do it that way. You're going to have to sign up to YouTube. You can be anonymous if you want and just send it that way, and then I can put it um, on my iPod, show my class, whatever. If you don't want to do that, you can send it directly to me, and you can find uh, information to my email address on uh, the Teacher's Life blog dot blogspot dot com and um, that's it I'm really hoping for more uh, people to comment uh, respond through video anything because my kids are eating it up and I am out of problems so um, that's it if you have any questions uh, throw a little comment on this video and I'll get back to you and that's it I hope I hear from somebody. I have uh, uh, several college instructors that are going to give this as an assignment to their college teacher students. and um, But this is going to take time. And I'm out. I'm out of problems. My kids are like, who else can we help? I said, I don't know. I'm going to check YouTube. And just the fact that it's on YouTube, kids are going nuts. But anyways, uh, if you're interested in doing uh, reading too, uh, check out the reading video. I have some really cool people uh, getting together with that so uh, yeah that's all I got other than this I called it Super Bowl now I made a 96 to nothing prediction for the Super Bowl they're playing the Steelers so it's gonna be 96 7 we're gonna give up a, a bomb uh, Roethlisberger will throw some lucky pass and we'll win 96 7 so um, if you got a comment about that, I welcome it because this is amazing. Like, if you got something with football too, my kids are going nuts because this doesn't happen in Arizona ever and may never happen again. So, that's all. Take care, and I hope to hear from anybody. Okay? Thank you so much. Bye.